The next file format we're going to explore is the PDF file format. And before we talk about importing PDF files, I can't stress enough. When this file format was created, they were not meant to be imported. So the fact that we can is very nice. The other thing to keep in mind, because I hear users often say, well, I don't understand the file looked good in Adobe Reader, why doesn't it look the same when imported? Well, a reader application, be it Adobe Reader, Foxit Reader, or one of the other ones, is viewing the file. It is not editing the file. So yes, you may see significant differences when you import a PDF into Corel Draw, and it may not edit as cleanly as you would like it to do. The option is not editing it at all. So appreciate what you can do and I'm sure the folks at Corel will continue to improve on getting the files in successfully. So let's go ahead and import a file. And in this case, I'm going to choose a multi-page file. So let's go ahead and select this file. And it's going to bring up a dialog box that asks me some questions. Now I showed you variations of this dialog box. And the one variation that's not here, it's not asking for a password. If someone has saved a PDF file and they have protected it from editing, it can only be edited if you know the password. And quite honestly, if they put a password on it preventing it from editing, they probably don't want you importing the file. So it probably will not work. Now if they somehow give you that password, it will work okay. So the first question I'm asked here is do I want text or curves? If I choose text, it means that it will look at the fonts I have on my system. And if I have the font called for by the text, it's going to look okay. If I don't, I'm probably going to get font substitution and it may not be pretty. The alternative is to convert the text to curves and you can embed files inside a PDF. But the reality is it's probably not going to use that embedded font when it converts to curves or at least it may not work all the time. So I'm going to leave it as is because what I'm looking for in this file doesn't have any text so I'm not really worried about this. The particular file I chose has 29 pages. So anytime you try and import a file with more than one page, it's going to ask you if you want all of the pages or a specific range. So I'm going to say I want pages 3 through 5. Just to simplify things a little bit, it shows you enough of how this works rather than trying to import all 29 pages when, when in reality we don't need them all. So we'll go ahead and say OK, and it will import the file. It's going to take a second here to bring it in. Now it's saying, wait a second, we're missing some fonts, and it tells me there are three specific fonts missing. Now I can try and substitute for comparable fonts I have, or I can let it switch to Arial. And I can tell you Frutiger and Arial are not really close so it's gonna look kinda of funny but like I said the portion of this file I'm interested in does not have any text so whether or not you choose to substitute and what I can do is come in here and I can find a Frutiger on my system I do actually have some so instead of Frutiger bold bold maybe I want to choose Frutiger bold and let's see where the heck is Frutiger bold in my list here so it would be, I believe, this one. And I could choose the other ones. We'll just leave that one for now so you can see how you choose a font. We'll go ahead and say OK. It's going to bring in the pages I requested. And I'm going to hit the space bar so that it automatically paginates them and places them on the pages as necessary. And because this is a relatively complex file, it took a few seconds for that to happen. So here's page one. There's nothing interesting for me on page one. But if we zoom in, you can see the text actually looks OK. And if we want to, with our text tool, we can click in there. And it is editable text. 
and it's choosing the font Perpetua. Now keep in mind that each block of text is going to be separated. So those few letters are together, those are together. So if you truly want to lay out a document with lots of lines of text, you're going to have to recombine that. And I talked about that some in the book. So let's go down to page two and I can see there's some logos here and we'll go to page three and what I was looking for is this guy in particular and I can tell you he is vector graphics I'll switch to wireframe in a minute and if I select the maroon part I'll see that it even brought in the original spot color and if I select the gold part again it brought in the spot color if I go to wireframe we will see this is most definitely vector graphics. So there are times when PDF files will work great as an import format. There are also times when it's probably not going to work very well at all and you just have to live with those because sometimes those files just weren't meant to be edited.